why is that happening? Because ultimately, like, unlike Muhammad, to start a new religion. Well, yeah, but like, but that's what, like, almost like what I'm pointing to, like, with something in Islam, like, you could see the motivation for having like a warrior person, and they came and like swept over and dominated like this vast swath of area. And it, what would there, Kate, Christianity understood? Jesus, understood, but what's the mo what would be the naturalistic motivation to start Christianity? I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if I see it. Okay, let me propose one. The Jews of that in the first century were sick and tired of always being second fiddle to the greater nations on the planet. Here, they were led to believe that they were the chosen ones. They were led to believe that they were the, the primo nation, a tr primo tribe, and yet suffering, suffering, suffering. So then what better way to flip the script and say that we are chosen because of our suffering. We can actually overcome Rome and the powers that be of the world by a pacifistic submission, saying, w because our kingdom is not of this earth. Like, it's very easy to say, hey, if you're bragging all the time, you're the best God's chosen people, yet you cannot solidify a nation. Here's a good out. Well, our nation's not on planet Earth. I mean, not this kingdom. It's some beyond. So they had this real idea of how to bring peace, hope, and meaning to the Jewish people by saying they can kill us, but to die is gain because our kingdom is outside this one. I mean, it, it brings people like to tears. It's like, oh, yeah. I finally get it. This this brings meaning and an understanding to every everyone. It's like, oh, we don't have to fight against Rome because our battle is not against human flesh. It's against principalities and demons and angels. They just totally flip the script. They cannot lose with that belief system. They're winners yeah. no matter what. That would be some next level shit. I, I give you that. That was good. What I just said. I've never said that. That was no. That was a very. You gotta clip cool. that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That was a. You, you're a good storyteller, man. I'll give you that. I, I could I be mean, a gospel author. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the, in, in order for that to come together, you would have to have almost a conspiracy of events unfold because you'd have to have like Jesus, like you'd have to have somebody like him willing to do this and then no 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 this was this this happened after the fact so th these ideas that rand i just gave basically uh -huh. this charismatic scene leader doing his preaching thing from place to place ends up dying and and the people are devastated who followed him now they're trying to make sense of it and that now insert my rant now so now they start making up these stories and this is why it took decades to make the gospel. The last right. gospel was like the late, late first century. So as this story unfolded, as it was molded, as it was added to some things were subtracted, it was finalized, but it wasn't like Jesus was, all this was planned ahead of time. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, that's more plausible then. I